hey, hey, I'm back again to entertain you from your fourth monitor or wherever you're watching this from. Maybe your Samsung smart fridge, maybe you're fancy like that, I don't know. I burnt my tongue as well as my throat from eating my world famous chicken Alfredo. I, I burned it on the first bite, so the rest of the bites, I barely could taste anything at all, but I know it was good because I cooked it. Still, I mean, I thought I might as well buckle down and make this video because if the stalker in the video I'm about to show you is as brash and bold, then sure, I should brave through and make this as well because there's no way I'm losing to this weirdo. Muay Thai again? No, oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, everyone, want to meet my uh, stalker? My stalker is right here following me. There he is. I told you guys, followed me and there you are guys, you, you didn't believe me, here it is, that's my boy, live on the stream, my stalker has followed me into the, to the uh, family mart, see, there you are guys, <laughs> you, wanted, you guys didn't believe me? Where do I even begin with this? Where do I even start by dissecting this? I, I have no idea. Maybe I could start with the fact that the guy is wearing fluorescent clothing, bright yellow. It looks like he just got off of a construction shift. The guy is as stealthy as a marching band. And the worst part is how he tries to, you know, blend in, try and be a normal citizen, you know, selling patriot at this store. Guy thinks he's some sort of assassin from Assassin's Creed, you know, blending in with the crowd to look normal. Yeah, it's it's not working, buddy. Everyone knows you're stalking. That and the fact that you have no care that you've been found. He looked directly into the camera while muttering a monologue to himself, staring that stalky with no shame in any of his eyes. <laughs> Guy is deranged. Behavior is creepy. Atmosphere is disturbing. Check, check, check. Warning signs, you really should get out of here. And just like a four-year-old with a fork playing with a power outlet, I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. Four months, apparently. Four months of this dude just tracking him down. It's just, ugh. This is a disturbing trend that's been happening a lot on uh, Twitch and uh, just IRL streaming in general, where these weirdos just get fixated on a streamer and just can't help themselves. Well, they can, clearly, but they choose not to. They choose to give in to their disturbing desires. What's even more disturbing is based on what the streamer says here. It's not, it's, the, the person doesn't know that I'm streaming. I don't even think the person really knows English. He's, uh, he's not on stream. I don't, I don't think he's followed me via my stream. I think he's like found me just on the streets and now it's become obsessed. So you heard that right. This stalker isn't stalking because he watches the streams or he's a fan or a sub to him. No, he's doing this because he just saw him on the street one day, like what he saw, and started going after him. That's even more disturbing because in most cases, when the stalker is actually, you know, following the streamer, it's usually in the heat of the moment, like they just saw him and are about to, you know, start the stalking process. Or the fact of the matter is that they're just, you know, fans, like very demented, crazy fans. In this case, it's neither of those. This guy just continuously has been stalking this person for four months and following him, knowing his positioning without actually watching a stream. No stream sniping here. This guy is all tracking through footsteps, scent, you know, the whole shabaj of like hunting animals is basically what this guy is doing. This guy is taking stalking to the literal level. And the fact that he's muttering and looking at the, you know, streamer in general with those crazy eyes tells me this man has a lamp collection somewhere in his basement. Honestly, the best thing the streamer could do is get the local authorities involved. Uh, this is set in Taiwan. So I've heard like the last time I remember a streamer uh, stalked, uh, the Taiwanese authorities were able to help. This guy is clearly very 
prideful in his work if he could just, you know, be out in the open. The guy wasn't really hiding his stalking. He just comes in, stares up and down, and then props himself there. Some people say he might have a mental mental illness, or maybe he just wants, you know, gym tips. How, how can I get a body like yours? Regardless of whatever it could be, it th- this behavior should not be tolerated in any capacity, because it's just very disturbing trend that keeps rising up with not just streamers in general the the thing the thing about streamers is wow i just like hiccuped there a bit but the thing about streamers is they have video evidence so they could provide it to authorities there are people out there who are not streamers just regular everyday people who get stalked and they can't do anything about it because in most cases they don't have like the video proofs and stuff they need to gather that And that process of gathering can be long and stressful because some some countries don't really even have stalker laws. We're we're lucky to have uh, be in countries that do, but yeah, this this is something that needs to be cut down severely because it's just not right in any shape, way, or capacity. Like the muttering itself is like the peak of the creepiness because it looks like he's possessed and just talking in tongues. But the fact that he just uh, sits down, has no product purchased, he clearly came into this mart with a reason, and that reason is to just openly stalk this poor man. For example, if you're sitting at that seat, so this seat, these seats are right for eating, right? Therefore, if you're a customer here, he's got no food. He's just sitting there. He's waiting for me. He, he hasn't purchased anything. He's not so as you could see there the video like glitches a bit and i for a second there thought that the stalker activated their emp bomb that they were hiding underneath their fluorescent shirt and just went to town on kidnapping the poor streamer in broad daylight at this point i i can't even underestimate anyone and it's the best thing you don't underestimate craziness of people because people will go up the ante they'll double down you do not want to take a fight with crazy people now the thing is i want to take the benefit of the doubt and say that this man is just a fan really uh, likes the whole you know gym bodybuilding trend and just wants to approach him and have a conversation of how you get gains and he's just not good at it being a foreigner and it, it, there's like a culture gap so maybe he's just doesn't know uh, that's what I want to assume, but for four months, th- th- that's pretty weird. Maybe he is, you know, mentally ill and uh, should get checked. He hasn't done anything violent yet, but uh, this is something that, that that needs to be sorted out and not just left to simmer. You gotta have some sort of communication or local authorities involved. And hopefully this trend dies off like the Black Plague. I hope the Black Plague is dead because I've seen some news reports saying that it's been popping up in certain countries please no i don't want some sort of covid black plague mix plaguing the world oh boy i really don't funny thing is when i first saw this video i thought it was gonna be a harmless kind of thing like the jim bro saying like i'm being stalked and then he turns the camera and it's like some sort of kitten or dog that's been stalking him for food i've been watching a lot of animal videos a lot on youtube to you know decompress myself from the weirdness of humanity um but sadly that wasn't the case ah when will humanity fix itself yeah, there are still good people out there. I'm I'm hoping you who's watching is a good person. I hope I continue to try to be a good person. Like, you don't have to be a saint, you know? You don't have to, you know, donate to charity every day or something. Just be a normal person. Uh, communicate. If you, if you, like this stalker, if you, they wanted an autograph or something, just talk communicate if, if you don't have that like get someone who could translate for you but i i try every time i see these kind of videos to find the positives like maybe it could be spun this way but it, it, it just can't you really need to see the fact that this person is weird and you need to save yourself from the weirdness that the world throws at you like i keep circling back to the fact that this man might actually be disabled and just unwell in the head but 
the look on the streamer's face before he turns the camera to his stalker is one of dread. And that's a feeling that uh, it, it, it steals your peace, basically. That, that's the disturbing feeling you get from stalkers or when you come home from a night out and you see your door busted wide open and you've been essentially robbed. It, it steals that sense of peace you had. Before... This, he saw the stalker, he was just, you know, talking with Chad, having a good time, and then all that just disappears. Yeah, he's trying to laugh it off a bit. That's just a coping mechanism, the way I try to make jokes whenever I have to get involved with my peers and friends, trying to make, a, you know, light talk, small talk. Wow, am I, am I doing that right now with the camera? It, the, the camera making me nervous? <laughs> I'm not losing to the camera. No, no way. No, no. Let's uh, cut this out. Come on, editor, cut this out. I am the editor. I should be able to cut this out, but knowing me, I I probably wouldn't care less. <laughs> if the person's mentally unwell, again, get people involved. Help help this person realize that this isn't good behavior. Get them to stop doing stuff like this. Uh, you can't really shame. Because clearly, if this person isn't, you know, disabled and is in their senses and just doing this because they get a sick kick out of it, you're not going to shame this. They, they seem to enjoy being caught. The fact that they're smiling and muttering words in an ancient Dovahkiin tongue, I, I don't think they care much about being spotted. But yeah, hopefully this crazy trend of stalking people in general could stop, but yeah, hey, it it's up there with murder and other crimes of humanity. So we're just going to have to keep fighting it as much as we can. And that's all there is.